Hi, I'm uh, Stoddard Owens, and I'm playing uh, the ghost and the second gravedigger. Uh, I'm David Peterson, playing the player king and uh, the gravedigger. The yeah, we've both been here since the beginning and have done many of the uh, Shakespeare shows together. And uh, always a pleasure to be on stage doing Shakespeare with this guy. Mm -hmm. he, we usually find a different way to do it, uh, something new. And I think uh, people are going to be kind of surprised with what we're doing in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Midsummer Night's Dream, uh, he directed it. I was uh, one, of the, one of the four romantic leads in that. Uh, mm -hmm. That was fun. Uh, that, that was a big production. Uh, done, that was a very cool show. Yeah. Yeah, very done cool Macbeth, show. Yeah. Scottish yep. play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I did the first one. I, I can't remember actually the name of what we started. Comedy of Errors. Yeah, that, that was it. That's it. It was yeah. the first one when we had no stage, no backdrop, uh, nothing but folding chairs and a, and a hope and a dream. And, and then we had a horrible, horrible storm. Basically, a tornado came through. Yeah. And we just moved the show into the alcove At of the, the museum. Fine, Arts yeah. Theater, uh, Fine Arts Museum. And did the whole show in there with pigeons swooping down. And the audience moved with us. That was what was so remarkable. We were yeah. like, we'll, we'll do it in there if you they want didn't to. Leave. And they were like, okay, trees blowing over on their sides. <laughs> and people are just like, proceed. <laughs> So we did. We, we put on a show, finished yep. the play. That was a comedy of errors. Well, that's fitting. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, that makes sense. So, Stoddard, you've directed shows before. I have. I love directing Shakespeare, but I also love being in them. And uh, you're not going to do both. I can tell you that. I, <laughs> I, I, it's a lot to direct. So... Uh, I was real glad when John Mark was, was doing this, and then I was kind of apprehensive, wasn't sure what roles were available or what I could be, and then when I got cast, I was like, I don't even really, I'm not even really that familiar with the ghost. Is he even in this show? <laughs> and then I read the script, and I was like, oh, this is, this is good. This is a good, good bit. I like it. So I get to be super creepy and scary, and uh, <laughs> I dig that. So... As he knows, oh, yeah, I like yeah, to creep, yeah. creep out the audience on occasion. What has it been like doing this process outside in the middle of a tornado versus inside where you have AC and lights and everything? Well, that's the, I'd say the, that's the biggest change. Mm -hmm. uh, also, now um, we, we actually have ticket holders. <laughs> that's kind of nice that people, I mean, it was very nice that people came to see it for free. We'd still love to be able to do something like that in the future, but uh, just having the lights There's and the effects. Very cool that the people kept supporting us through yes, that change. Through that change, which yeah, we, a big we thing. We really want to see Shakespeare, and so they, they buy tickets for it. It's so <laughs> much easier doing it indoors, where oh, you're not yeah. just melting through the summer and just absolutely sweating yourself to death. And even though it's you know early evening when we're doing it, it was still just misery out there. So Having to wait for a train to go by. Sometimes there were some scenes. Four trains. Like, <laughs> four trains, multiple trains. Sometimes it would, I'd stand there for five minutes waiting while a train is just going by. Brr, brr, you know, and you're not you're not gonna get through that acting you it's it's right behind you so <laughs> for people that don't know much about hamlet what would you boil it down to what's a, a little Ooh. synopsis what's it about a boy's father dies <laughs> and he gets real mad about it <laughs> <laughs> then <Lateable? laughs> everybody dies the but, end but can't quite decide what to do about it that's right <laughs> A lot of little teen angst in there. Oh, God, so much. So much teen angst. So much, <laughs> which is why Tyler was perfect for it. <laughs> John Mark knows what he's doing. He does, he does. And he's doing an awesome job. I'm really proud of him. We've got a wonderful cast, and that's that's been the, the thing that I've really enjoyed, just getting to see everybody do just such a, uh, a great job and really come into their own roles and and uh, get excited about every role, no matter how, how big or small it was, mm -hmm. and no matter how big or small the scene was, so just yeah. make it, try to make that scene, the showcase of that moment, was, uh, it's what it's all about, you know, you've got to put on a whole play, not just the famous monologues, or the famous line, mm -hmm. 
You've got to do the whole thing and make sure that people understand what's going on and why these things are happening to these people and why they're in these conflicts. And, uh, and you know, it's Shakespeare, so sometimes the motivation can be a little wonky. You know, sometimes his motivation was, I'd really like to have a sword fight scene here. And you have to try to find a better motivation to get in there. So this is a bargain. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're in, you're not going to see a show of this quality outside of like your bigger, more prestigious theaters in larger cities. And uh, I think this is a very prestigious place anyway, but I mean, as far as cost goes, this is ridiculous. I mean, people paid 500 bucks to see Taylor Swift and I think this is better. Come on. <laughs> Come see the show. You'll love it. You will love it. You will love it. Come see us.